Today's video from Sam 4S Help, we're taking a look at periodic financial reports, so that is X2 and Z2 reports on the ER900 series of registers. This video, as always, we're looking at the 940, but the, the process is the same across the range. So this video kind of follows a directly on from my X1 and Z1 videos on the 900 and is part of an overall understanding X and Z reports playlist. Um, so the, the machine's got the functionality as well as doing your X1 uh, read financial report and your Z1 financial report, which we use as a daily report here. So that's the daily report I've just taken in the Z1 video. You've also got the ability to do periodic reporting. Um, so the, the use for that would be you could, if you do a Z, if you're open seven days a week and you've done um, seven Z1 reports in that time, you can then do a weekly report. Um, I'll show you how to do it and then I'll explain how else you can do it. Um, the periodic reporting is available as read only and reset. So you can do the X version that is information only and then you can do a reset version. It's 201 subtotal of the button presses and that's the same in the X or the Z mode. So this is the X version, version, so it's an X2 report, so again, like all the other reports, it tells you when you did it, and it's got the title of the report at the very, very top. If you're familiar with your X and Z reports, it's going to have exactly the same information on, so you've got your PLU total, your adjustment total, and then all the same information, um, including methods of payment. The only difference is that it's over a bigger time period. So every time you do a Z1 report, which I explained in my previous video, the Z1 file is wiped, but the data is pushed over and consolidated into the Z2 file. If you never run a Z2 file, but run Z1s every day, then the Z2 file will just keep building up, building up, building up, um, with lots of useless information in there effectively. How you can use the Z2 is to do weekly, um, get into a routine of doing weekly, monthly or quarterly reports. You can't do them all, you have to pick one. So the way it could work is I could use, um, I could do a monthly Z2 report. And how I would do that is wait till the same day of every month. I mean, logically it makes sense to do it on the very last day of the month. You do your Z1 report for that day. So you've taken 28 or 30 or whatever Z reports for that month. Then you go to Z. 201 subtotal and that Z report that prints out is going to have the consolidation of all the Z1s I've run since the last time I did the Z2. So that's why it's important to get into a routine because you can't tell the till to do a monthly report but you can trick it and use the Z2 function to get a monthly report by running that report at the end of every month. And we'll just prove the point that the data is wiped down we do another Z2 report that's got no information in it other than the grand total. Okay, I hope that video has been helpful. Uh, we'll have a playlist showing you all the different X and Z reports you can do on the 900 series appearing on screen now. I'd recommend checking that out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sam4shelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.